Let them live, let them stay. Let them live, let them stay. Let them land, let them stay. Let them land, let them stay. Let them land, let them stay. Patrick, you, you took a step today and burnt your Labour Party membership card. Explain to me why you did this. Well, it comes after a litany of failures on refugee policy coming from the Labour Party. I mean, I feel that any authentically left-wing member uh, with a conscience must be... Let them land, let them stay! Let them land, let them stay! What's your reaction to uh, the latest Labour um, policy change on refugees? It's appalling, unprincipled and probably impractical, uh, as well as being inhumane. Um, I think the Labour Party will pay dearly for this, and so they should. It's a complete abandonment of principle. They've completely lost their moral compass. Our chief political correspondent Sabra Lane is at the Balmain Town Hall and she joins us now. Sabra, the caucus is still meeting, but is there much doubt that the Parliamentary Party will back their new leader this close to an election? Yeah, no, Eleanor, they're, they're all speaking pretty much with one voice. There hasn't been any opposition uh, publicly voiced here, at least this morning. Doug Cameron, someone who'd been a staunch opponent to tough policies on asylum seekers this morning, was backing it, um, saying that uh, the current policies hadn't worked. And Daryl Mellon, uh, member for Banks and the former chairman of Caucus, also was quite strident in his support. There's also about 20 to 30 uh, refugee advocates. Among them is Peter Boyle, a self-described vote person. And also he's a candidate for the Socialist Alliance in the city, the seat of Sydney here in the uh, federal election, which is upcoming. Uh, he says um, that he needs to stand. He says that this was once a Labor stronghold area representing uh, the working people. And he says that it no longer uh, is that, and he's hoping to win votes at the election, but he admits it's probably an impossible task. I spoke with him earlier. Well, my family came to this country seeking a better life in the 1970s. We arrived on a boat. We did have formal papers, I grant you that, but I think I'm no different. We came as economic migrants, as most people in this country have come here. I think it's crazy to stigmatize people seeking a better life. I think we have to address the problems as they exist. We have a global refugee problem that extends into the millions, into the many, many millions. And Australia has only asked to play a small part. Why do you think Kevin Rudd's done it, especially given in 2010 he said he would not lurch to the right? Well, there's no consistency whatsoever with Kevin Rudd. I think his current tactics are purely aimed at trying to secure a quick win or at least a minim minimise the defeat in the next elections. And what, how do you rate your chances in the seat of Sydney? You're up against Tanya Plibersek? Yes, I don't think I have a chance, but I'm certainly going to have a voice. That's protester and Socialist Alliance candidate for the seat of Sydney, Peter Boyle.